Hello, good morning, dear students. We, uh, in the last lecture, uh, we have completed the building superiority law. See, in the previous classes, in the uh, class, we started in the building superiority classification of the buildings. Okay, and in uh, this lesson, most of the buildings we have completed. That is, the first one is a Dobberinier tracks. A uh, second one is new line law of this. And the third one that is a Mendeley Spignoli table. Okay. Also in the last lecture we have discussed about what are the limitations of Mendeley Spignoli table and uh, how we place a uh, particular elements in that of uh, one periodic table. So that all the points we have discussed. So in this lesson, very most important point that is a modern periodic table. The modern periodic table. See. Now we are talking about which we are using nowadays. Okay, in your textbook also, in the periodic table it is there, and which is study up till now, what's now we are doing that is a modern periodic table. Okay, uh, so before a lecture we have discussed that the Mendeleev was one of the scientists. Uh, he placed that all sixty-three elements in a this periodic table, okay, and it was very famous also. But there are some drawbacks, and that drawbacks also we have discussed in some main elements. Means he uh, arranged the elements according to the increasing order of atomic masses. But there are two elements that is P1 and PK. Their atomic masses are different, and the other position also different. So that one that is a drawback, more drawbacks also we have discussed. So now today we will start our most important point that is a modern periodic table. Okay, now modern uh, periodic table. Now, who discovered this? Means in modern periodic table, you know that there are how many elements are there? 118 elements. If you will see your periodic table, in that also there are total 118 elements. It's up to it. uh, Now, is all the elements he that the scientist, that scientist name is Henry Mosley. Okay, uh, the scientist name is Henry Mosley. He, uh, he placed his all 180 elements in a modern periodic table. Okay, and with him also some scientists were there to help him. But the Henry Mosley, that uh, he placed his all 180 elements in a modern periodic Table. See now in this modern periodic table, they now you know these uh, lines. Okay, it's called it is lines are known as a period. So in a modern periodic table, there are total seven periods are there. How many periods? Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, seven periods are there. And the vertical columns, vertical columns are known as a group. What we say, vertical columns are known as a group, and these horizontal rows are known as a periods. Okay. So in the modern periodic table, there are how many periods are there? Seven periods. Groups, 18 groups. Okay. In the modern periodic table, 18 groups and 7 periods are there. See, in Mendeleev's, in his periodic table, uh, he divided um, a 7 groups in A and B subgroups. But the most day he given the all total 18 groups. He not divided into A and B in a subgroups. Okay. So maybe the question will come in the modern periodic table. How many periods are there and groups? So in a modern periodic table, seven periods are there and eighty groups. Okay, this is the basic information of a modern periodic table. Now, what is a law? On the which basis that Henry Mosley, that scientist, given the position of these all one hundred and eighty elements in a periodic table? So, so see here, this is a law that is. The physical and chemical properties of elements are the P1 
periodic function. Now, periodic function means what? After some interval of time. Okay, the periodic function of the atomic number and not of atomic mass. See, up till now, whatever the scientist uh, who does the study of the classification of the elements, they were totally depending on the atomic mass. Okay, but then Henry Moore said, what? He arranged the elements according to their atomic number. Okay, and not of the atomic mass. The physical and chemical properties same. Physical and chemical properties same. But he arranged all 180 elements according to their atomic number, not of atomic masses. See in the Mendeleev's periodic table also, we have discussed about that Mendeleev's arranged uh, elements according to their atomic mass. But the most thing, because um, he knew that atomic number is independent. Atomic number is not dependent on any one. Okay? See, if you want to calculate the atomic mass, you have to depend on the atomic number. Yes? But why? Because atomic, see, atomic mass. What is the formula of atomic mass? Number of protons plus number of neutrons. Okay? So, number of protons is whatever the atomic number exactly equal to the number of, of protons. So, number of protons plus the number of neutrons means you will get the atomic mass. So, we arrange all elements according to their atomic number and atomic number is for independent. Okay? Not of atomic masses. Understood the difference? See, before the scientist, whoever done the study of a classification of periodic table, they will depend only about the atomic mass and increasing order of atomic mass. But in a modern periodic table, the Henry was said, there is the scientist that he arranged the elements according to their physical and chemical properties as well as that is of their atomic number, not of atomic mass. Okay? So, now, where is the position of that particular elements in a modern periodic table that we will learn but before then some points that you should know then it is easy to understand whatever the position of that particular element. See uh, this all the points you write down in your chemistry notebook. Okay. Now we will see some points which are uh, important means if you know that then you are able to identify it. Now you know that if there are in modern periodic table seven periods, how many? See, periods, seven periods and 18 groups. Okay, but before that you should know the electronic configuration of that particular atom. What is it? See, in the atomic structure, in the atomic structure, we have learned this. Okay? So, uh, so we need this nucleus, protons and neutrons. Protons, positive charge and neutrons, no charge. This is a first shell, second shell, third shell. Okay? It's also known as PAL. L. We have learned in atomic structure also and in the basic chemistry also we have learned this. And the electrons are revolved around the orbit. Okay. So these are the electrons. And electrons, which charge is there? Negative charge. Protons positive charge and neutrons no charge. So at least is a basic information. Okay? This everyone will know. Now, how to write the electronic configuration of the particular element. Okay. So, now we will um, take one example. Okay? I uh, will take one example that is of sodium. What is the sodium atomic number? Sodium atomic number is 11. Okay, now see, 
See, uh, now we will distribute these eleven electrons in a atomic structure. This is a bohr atomic model. See, of protons, neutrons, and then nucleus. First shell, second shell. Okay, so first shell capacity. How to do the capacity? See, there is one, two, that is two and square. Okay, n means what? N means number of shell. Okay, so the first, this first shell, K, second L, third M, and fourth one is N. So according to the formula, K means what? One, so two electrons. What is the capacity of the first shell? Two electrons. Second shell L. So two. So eight electrons. Second shell capacity eight electrons. Third M. Three square. Third shell capacity eighteen electrons. I know. Both cell capacity 22 electrons. Okay, so according to 2 and square, we should know what is the capacity of each cell. So this is K L M. Hmm? So atomic number 11. So in the first shell, how many electrons will be? Two electrons because the K shell capacity is two electrons. Okay, now L. Why we are learning this again? Because to place the particular element in a periodic table, we are going to learn about the electronic configuration also. So if you know this, then only you are able to write the electronic configuration. Okay? Now then see in the second shell, we electrons. Sodium, that is 2A1. 
understood? See, in the last 9th standard also, you have learned this. Okay? So, this is the electronic configuration of a sodium. Now, we will see the first some elements electronic configuration. Write this all information in your chemistry notebook. Okay? Now, see the first some elements electronic configuration. This is very important for you. So, you will understand how the elements are placed in a modern periodic table. Okay. So, first one, element. Hmm? Elements. Then, atomic number and uh, electronic Configuration. Okay. Also, now you have to tell me. Okay. Now you know that how we have written the electronic configuration of the sodium. So now uh, the first one is a hydrogen. Hmm? What is the hydrogen atomic number? One. Hmm? So here we write A L M N. Okay. So hydrogen one. So what will be the electronic configuration? One. Second one which atom comes? Helium. Helium atomic number? Two. So electronic configuration? Two. Because helium first shell creation capacity is two. So two electrons are there in a first shell. Now third one is lithium atomic number is three. In the first shell two. And in second shell, one. So, this is the electronic configuration of a lithium. Then, beryllium, boron, see, beryllium, four, boron, five. So, four K shell capacity is two, L shell capacity is L also two because four electrons. Okay? Boron, five, two, three. Now, why we have written three? Because the second shell. So, the 8 electrons which are right here. So, this is the electronic configuration of that particular element. See, here I have given only the first 5 elements electronic configuration. Okay? But you have to complete this chart till 20 elements. Now, 20 I told you before also. First 20 elements, atomic numbers, write this way. Okay, in 20 and write electronic configuration. So, after this lecture, when this lecture will finish, so during the problem solving period, you have to send me the photocopies of all 20 elements electronic configuration. Understood? If you have any doubts regarding this, then you can contact to me. Okay? Now, the next point we will continue in our next video. Thank you.